any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about the treat. You look never from your debit to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile, and your father's old green tie on. I wouldn't give you cotton for your old watch chain, old iron, old iron. Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, today I'm going to do a crossword. So I'm going to take a look at the Times Cryptic crossword now um, and see how we go. And I'll try and talk through uh, all of the clues um, and my thought processes. Um, so let's have a look. Dined out having photo taken. Well, my first thought here is that dined out, that could be an anagram of the word dined. And then having photo taken, I can put a four-letter word for a photo inside an anagram of dined. Um, I might get a word that means the whole phrase, dined out having photo taken. Not sure, not sure. So just a reminder, most cryptic clues have a definition at the beginning or the end. But one type of clue, which is called an and-lit clue, uh, the whole clue operates as both wordplay and the definition. And I, I'm wondering, reading this one, whether it's that sort of clue, but I can't get the answer, so let's have a look at six across. US agent without hesitation vented anger. OK, well, this is an easier clue. US agent is almost always a fed. Very occasionally it might be a narc, but, but normally it's a fed. So then we've got the word without. Uh, hesitation, again, that's almost always one of two things. It's either er, as in something you might say in speech, you go, er, or um, for the same reason. So can we put er or um in the word fed and get a, a word that means vented anger? Yep. Fume is the answer to that one. Um in fed. Great guy who belongs to a left-wing society. Well, yeah, okay. If we um, if we know that there's a left-wing or socialist society called the Fabian Society, we're almost all the way all the way there for this clue. How does it work? Well, great is fab, it's in fabulous, and a guy is just a guy's name, Ian. Put those two together, you get Fabian. Stolen data, I promise, when grilled, to keep very quiet right. What a mouthful that clue is. Um, doesn't sort of trip off the tongue to me at all. So, the way to get into this clue is, is actually to look at the last three words. Very quiet and right. Now, very quiet has a very common abbreviation, which is PP, something you might see on a music script um, to indicate play very quietly. Um, so an R can just be abbreviated to, or oh, sorry, right can just be abbreviated to R as in left and right. So why does that matter? Well, it matters because it suggests we're going to have to put PPR into this word somehow. And it also means that this side of the clue is not the definition. So we need to look at the other side of the clue where we've got either the word stolen or stolen data. Now, I don't know any words for stolen data, to be honest. So it probably is a 15 word letter word meaning stolen that contains double PR in it. And that's enough to get me the answer. I think the answer is going to be misappropriated. Um, now let's work out the rest of it then. So, okay. So if we grill, the letter grill is in uh, burn, shuffle, if we destroy in some way the letters of data, I, promise, you can see that altogether that's 12 letters. And that can surround our PPR that we found there, P, P and R. So it's just an anagram of data, I, promise, around PPR. That gives us the answer. Resistance in party with nothing to lose to change shame. Again, this clue doesn't trip off the tongue to me. Um, but um, what am I thinking here? Well, resistance uh, can sometimes be abbreviated to R, as in V equals IR, Ohm's law. Um, 
volts or voltage equals current times resistance. So this could be R. In party with nothing to lose. Well, again, that suggests we need a word for a party where we can take an, an O out of it. O being, uh, you know, something you might see to represent nothing. Uh, so the word that comes to mind, especially beginning with D, is disco. A disco might be a party. So if I remove the last O from that, I would get disc. And then we've got to change shame. So if it was a word that means shame, it could be discredit. OK, this is the answer. So it's disco without its O, plus change is edit, and that all surrounds R for resistance, because the resistance is in the disc edit, if you see what I mean. And the whole thing means shame. So again, a slightly stretched clue for me, that one. Maybe that's just... Uh, me not having my morning coffee. Um, let's try this one. Painters, all right, well, I'm looking at this, I'm immediately thinking cubists. So why is it cubists? Copper, okay, whenever you see a chemical element uh, in a crossword clue, always uh, assume it's going to be the chemical symbol in the periodic table representing that element, so CU. Coins, well, coins can be bits, B-I-T-S, a bit is a word for a coin, um, and then outside front of shop, well the front, the first letter of the word shop is an S. So we put bits outside this S here and we get cubists, which are painters. Let's try this now with it. Explain sea fish being found in fresh water. Okay. Um, hmm. Again, we need to make a decision. Which side of the clue is the definition? Well, again, the thing I'm thinking here is we've got sea fish being found in fresh water. So this is all suggesting repositioning words or positioning words in other words. So I think this means it's likely that the definition here is explain. So we need a six letter word, which means explain. Now a sea fish, could be a cod. So if I put cod in the middle, all of a sudden this becomes solvable. Explain could be decode. So how does it work? Well, we've got a sea fish, which is a cod, in fresh water. Well, fresh water is hinting at a river, uh, and the river D is one of the three-letter rivers. Now, there are about 30 three-letter rivers that come up all the time. Probably the two most common are the D, because obviously it's so such a useful collection of letters, and the X, E-X-E. So bear those two in mind whenever you, you see anything that might refer to a river. Also remember the word flower. If you see that in a crossword clue, you can read the word flower as flower, and that is hinting at a river often. Um, so this looks like kidnapper without looking at the clue. Child brought before head one to get child removed. Again, a strange, strange surface. Um, child could be kid, obviously. Now an old word for your head is your napper. Uh, any old iron. How did that go? You look dapper from your napper to your feet. Was that the, the line in the song? I vaguely remember that. We did that in a school music hall once. Uh, but I think that's what that's getting at. And then the definition, sorry, was um, one to get child removed, i.e. somebody who steals a child. Um, 14. Wadi. Well, the word wadi may not be familiar to you all, but if you've done enough crosswords, you'll know it's some, something like a dry water bread, uh, I think is the definition of a wadi or a wadi. Um, so wadi may be this. Well, it's going to be arid, I'm sure. Um, little river needing help to get across. Well, river as well as being dx, fal, etc., cam, um, can also just be abbreviated to R. So we've got R here, needing help to get across, so we put a word that means help across or around the, the R, and we get aid. So aid around R gets arid there. 
Um, which we go now. Let's have a look at uh, this one. At end of month, engineers coming to mine ruined by neglect. At end of month. Well, again, the, the expression at end of month is suggestive of positioning something. We need to put something at the end of something. And for that reason, I immediately look to the other end of the clue for the definition. So, coming to mine ruined by neglect. So I think it's either going to mean neglect or probably more likely ruined by neglect. Um, so, end of month. Okay, it's decrepit, isn't it? So it's coming to the end of the month. Well, the month is December, which is very often abbreviated DEC. Engineers. Engineers very often abbreviated in crosswords to RE for the Royal Engineers. So deck re is coming to a word for a mine. Well, that's a pit. Put all that together, we get decrepit, which means ruined by neglect. Now, I fully appreciate some of you who are new to Times Crosswords might be looking at this saying, how am I meant to know all these short abbreviations for other things? And it is purely practice. Um, it, it's, it's very tedious when you first start uh, to do crosswords to uh, learn all of these abbreviations, but it doesn't take too long if you devote you know, a bit of time to it, as with everything else. Uh, and it is incredibly rewarding once you, once you can understand the code of these cryptic clues. Let's try this one. Climbers struggle with first sign of snow on island. <laughs> okay. Well, here I'm helped in that one of Mark Goodlip's great tips for solving cryptic clues is to know a lot of short synonyms for words. And I know a short synonym for the word struggle, and that's vi, v-i-e. And so once I read this clue, and I'm, I, I, I'm thinking all the time about the short synonyms I know for the words in the clue, and I see struggle, and I think vi immediately, all of a sudden the clue becomes very simple, because climbers then are going to be ivies. And it's then only a process of quickly justifying why this is right. So struggle with first sign of snow. Well, the first sign or the first letter of the word snow is an S. That's this S here. On island. So you're putting Vi plus S on I, which is an unpalled abbreviation for island. That gives us IVs, which are climbers. So again, help there by knowing the short synonym. Let's try this one. Victorian child labourer, little son to cry. Okay, well, a Victorian child labourer, someone who reads their Dickens will know as a chimney sweep, so a sweep is going to be the answer, I think. Little son, well that's saying, uh, take an abbreviation for the word son, and that's S, you don't actually need the little there. S can be an abbreviation for son on its own. Um, to cry, well, four letter word for to cry is to weep, so sweep is created that way and that's the answer. Attending party in NI, well NI will be Northern Ireland, um, doctor by nature smart. Well, a party in Northern Ireland, as those of us who follow politics in the UK will be very familiar with, is the DUP. So it definitely ends DUP here. So attending party in Northern Ireland, doctor by nature smart. So I think the way this works is it's saying put next to the DUP, so attending DUP is saying put place next to uh, the DUP. Doctor, well doctor has a few synonyms and abbreviations but the most common one well, we'll all be familiar with is just DR for doctor. So we need a four-letter word for nature to go with this, and the whole thing will mean smart. Well, if you're smart, you're dressed up. You may not be familiar with S, E double S E, as meaning your nature or your essence, but it, it is it is actually a word. I'll show you at the end when we look at Chambers Dictionary uh, that that is a valid word. Um, you can play in Scrabble, although you wouldn't get uh, many plaudits for using your two S's in that way. Um, Right, bad eggs 
showing certain characteristics stealing gold. Okay, well, again here I mentioned before, if we see gold, which is a chemical element, we should be thinking of AU, which is the abbreviation, but it also has another short synonym, which is OR, which is the gold tincture. Um, so we need to we need to bear in mind that gold is always either AU or OR. Um, certain characteristics, well, they're traits. So if I put traits, I allow them to steal or to surround one of my abbreviations for gold. I get traitors who are bad eggs. Uh, this, an extreme part of the world penetrated by saint and missionary. Okay, well the key to this is the, are the words penetrated by saint. We have to know that saint can be abbreviated to ST, which I don't think is too much of a stretch. So we look at the letters we've got and we put that must, the ST must go there. So now how does the rest of this work? An extreme part of the world is being penetrated by the saint. So we need to put an extreme part of the world around the ST and come up with a word that means missionary. Well, a missionary is an apostle. And you can see, therefore, we've got a pole, which is an extreme part of the world, um, surrounding our ST for saint. So we've done well on the right-hand side of the grid. We need to make some progress over here. Influence of guy in bank. Well, I don't know the answer to this yet, but I... Um, we can see how the clue must work. Uh, we, the only thing suggestive of wordplay here is, is the word in. So influence of guy in bank suggests we need to put a word for a guy in a word for, for bank. Now the tricky thing here is that guy can obviously just, it could just be a man's name, literally it could just be a man's name, but guy unfortunately has another meaning as well which is to tease. If you guy somebody, you tease them, you rib them. So a short synonym. So can we put rib in here? The only place it could go would be there. Now does that look likely? No, I don't know any, I don't think I know any words that fit that. So rib is not right. Are there any other short synonyms that mean tease? Rag. Well, let's put that leverage okay there we go influence is leverage and levy or leve depending on how you like to pronounce that l-e-v-double-e -E, is a bank uh, type of bank you a river bank i think might be described as a levy um and that american pie don't that go isn't that uh, what he's getting at there went down to the levy but the levy was dry um so influence leverage there with rag and levy um Rocker's enemy, imprisoned individual, languished. Okay, well, in your mods and your rockers, uh, before my time, but I've heard of them. So, rocker's enemy, imprisoned individual, suggests I need to put mod around the outside of a three-letter word, it must be, that means individual. So that's probably just the word one. An individual is one. If I do that, I get mooned, which means languish. If you moon about, you languish, as well as show your bottom, I guess. Um, what's this? Oh, this dined out one. That looks like it still could be an anagram. Let's try one down. Have we looked at that? No. Optimistic. I have to go out advance. That's an interesting clue, because I don't, I can't get a handle on it as I read it. So if we read the words here, I'm not sure which side of the clue is the definition. Um, so my suggestion when you really don't know is just to move on. What the heck? Your, 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 YR, which I suppose is an abbreviation for your nose is constructed to be this. That's okay. Well, when you see just extremely strange letters in order in a crossword clue it means it's going to be an anagram and you can see the word constructed here is saying and you know if you construct or you reconstruct you're suggesting you build or rebuild or change something so that's suggests of an anagram we can see y r n o s e s seven letters 
So let's anagram those. To be this is saying, um, it's hinting that this is sort of a semi and lit clue. It's saying, what's our nose used for? And suppose it's a sensory organ. That, I'm sorry to say, in my opinion, it's a terrible crossword clue. Uh, never seen YR used in a times crossword clue before. Um, that really is stretching it. Uh, you know, just, just to show you what, what I'm looking for in a crossword clue, I'm looking for something that reads nicely. So this one, Influence of Guy in Bank, it reads very naturally. You know, it's not, you could read that and not know it was a crossword clue. This one, while on the other hand, is uh, it's much stranger. Four down. Monarch bags a hairy beast in sport. Well, a hairy beast must be a yak, I guess. And that gives me enough. So we need a four-letter monarch to surround our yak for hairy beast to give a name of a sport. It must be kayaking. So king there around a yak. Oh, so our photo now needs to end in K, or either end in K or end in K blank. Photo take. Hmm, not sure. Devon Swimmer cheers when rescue vessel comes in. Okay, well, there's a couple of ways of getting to this. Rescue vessel is very suggestive of Noah's Ark, so A-R-K. And cheers, whenever you see cheers, don't think of, like, somebody cheering somebody. Think of what you might say if you were thanking somebody. So if you said cheers to somebody, you might say tar to them, T-A. So another of these very short synonyms, which compilers love because they allow them to, you know, build up words. So either of those is enough here because, you know, if we put TA around something, Devon Swimmer, it's Tarka the Otter, I think, is the answer. So this one, maybe I can get a grip on now. Optimistic, I have to go out advance. Ah, OK, yeah, so now I do understand it. So if you advance a theory, you would posit it. So how does the rest of this work? If you're optimistic, you're positive. And I have has to go out. Well, I have can be I've, I-V-E. So if we remove I've from the word positive, we get the word posit, which is the answer. So, yeah, that's a nice bit of wordplay. Oh, OK, so that... My theory of this being an anagram of dined is blown out of the water here. OK, <laughs> so this is a nice clue. Dined out having photo taken. This is the best clue so far, in my opinion. So if you dined out, you picnicked. And having photo taken, you had your pick, your picture, nicked. So picnicked is how the word play works there. Nice clue. I control a fan, not somehow wanting to encourage hostility. I control a fan, not somehow. Well, somehow here is an anagram indicator. It's saying, take the letters in these words and represent them. Present them somehow. I control a fan, not. I think it's 15 letters. Yes. So we need a word which means wanting to encourage hostility so it's confrontational confrontational there we go uh, unusual language with which the french attempt to convey adulation okay well whenever, whenever you see the french in a crossword clue it always or almost always means le or la i.e. the French words for the. So, and then attempt, well, attempt has two short synonyms that you see fairly often. One of them is go. If you have a go at something, you haven't attempted it. The other one is try. Now, so I am very tempted to say this clue must end with la and try. The a resolving the la, la uh, dilemma, I suppose. So now, can I think of a word that fits here? I can. It must be idolatry idolatry so our unusual language here is the language of Edo, I-D-O which uh, I have vaguely heard of 
don't ask me where it's spoken um, but yeah that's and then to convey adulation well adulation is idolatry getting to the heart of money people engaged in illegal activity well I don't know what this is yet but getting to the heart of money suggests to me I need to put a word of money around a word which means people or people engaged now I can think of a short synonym for money which would be sent so I'm thinking I don't quite know where the, the e goes yet but I'm looking at that sort of construction people don't know let's try and see if the C is justified in 13 down they are hard to name having zero applications they are hard to name hmm. I don't know 17 across learn a fool what one isn't using okay well learner is always abbreviated to L a fool that fits this construction, blank, a blank, that's going to be oaf. And a fool would not be using his loaf, loaf being a synonym for your head or your brain. Feature of Eastern churches making one in mood change. Well, change is the most obvious indicator of an anagram. One in mood is nine letters, so that looks good. Can we think of an anagram of one in mood, which means a feature of an eastern church an onion dome i think is the answer oops onion dome there we go try that one curious type like bond trapping his adversary with love okay well a type yeah, okay yeah a type like bond is a spy bond is famously a spy so if I put spy around his adversary well who was an adversary of James Bond it would be Dr. No with love love a love score in tennis is a zero score so that's very often indicated by an O so that gives us Snoopy which means curious hospital not functioning in seaside town well hospital has two common uh, sort of short synonyms or abbreviations one is H obviously and the other one is San and I like San here because of this N so San if something's not functioning it's down Sandown is a seaside town so that looks good witty comments succeeded with person cooperating okay well here the only thing you need to know is that succeeded believe it or not can be abbreviated to s so now can we get it witty comment fitting this construction with a four letter word for somebody who a person cooperating well that's going to be an ally that gives sally which is a witty comment so this must be calluses by the looks of it is that right yes they are hard well calluses are hard so how does the rest of it work to name is to call having zero applications if you have zero applications you have zero this o here uses all, right, we'll put all that together we get calluses so we're just left with this one so scent looks right doesn't it getting to the heart of money people engaged in it Ah, no, okay. <laughs> I think the way this is working actually, I was, it's quite a clever clue because I was assuming that getting to the heart of was suggestive of position and therefore, as we've discussed already, that suggests wordplay. But here, the compiler has fooled me because actually, getting to the heart of is the definition. And that means we can read the rest of the clue. Money, that's going to be sent. No longer going around anything, but just being a synonym for it. And then people engaged in illegal activity, we might get a ring, you know, a crime ring. And that would give us a centering, which means getting to the heart of. So there we go. Let's submit that. I'm hoping it'll be right. And then I'll take a quick look at some of the 
uh, dictionary definitions to see whether or not uh, we've understood them or correctly. This is where we get the pregnant pause while the computer thinks. Hopefully we're going to get green screen. Yeah. So that is correct. Now let's take a look at Chambers. Okay, so I have got one of these electronic copies of Chambers. For some reason they stopped producing these a few years ago, but it's very useful, especially when you're recording video. So let's have a look at Levy. Um, here we go here. There we go. A natural or artificial riverside embankment, especially on the lower Mississippi. Look at that. US word. So that is obviously what was being got at with American Pie, and that's where... Um, that's where the sort of synonym for bank comes from. Now I just want to have a quick look to show you about abbreviations. If you buy a copy of Chambers Dictionary, um, you can and you click on the uh, or you go to the actual letter. You know it'll list all of these things. Now all of these are considered valid abbreviations. Now some of these are so obscure you would never see them in a Times crossword. Although all of them are fair game. In the sort of very advanced cryptics that appear once a week in the UK broadsheet. So the enigmatic variations, the listener crossword, uh, the subscription magazine, the magpie also would allow any of these abbreviations. And you know, these are obviously just the capital S abbreviations. So if you know if you saw the word entropy in a listener crossword clue, actually it would be hinting at the letter S. Uh, but you've also got the small letter abbreviations which are also valid and here you see singular for example succeeded that way we saw that actually in wasn't that with um, Sally was that let's just check the clue for Sally um, is that succeeded yes yeah, succeeded there you go so that's that's where that was coming from um, how do you know which ones are acceptable and which aren't it's just practice some of these are you know you'd never see strangeness in a times crossword clue you'd never see Stokes a times crossword clue. You might see square though. Um, sun again you might see. And this is just for one of the letters. Um, now the other one I just wanted to show you was I've forgotten it. One more, which clue was it I wanted to look at? Uh, oh yeah, Napa. Let's check Napa for, for your head. I'm pretty sure it's right from the song. And there was one other Oh, S, that's right. I wanted to just show you that S is a word that means, there you go, your actual existence or essence from the Latin. And that's, and I think this was clued as nature here. You can see it down at the bottom there, by nature smart. So, yeah, not, you know, things like that I fully accept are not easy to understand. The head, there we go. So I hope this was useful for those of you who are relatively new to the cryptic crossword. Uh, I do try and do one of these videos each week where I really go to town on the puzzle and go through you know, every clue in some detail. Um, and I know this makes the videos very long, but on the other hand, I think you get you know, a full experience of you know, what it's like to solve one of these things. So if you do enjoy it, please do subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. Do leave comments to tell us what you like to see and what you don't like to see as well. And we'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic. Oh, any old iron, any old iron, any, any, any old iron. You look neat, talk about a treat. You look never from your debit to your feet. Dressed in style, brand new tile, and your father's old green tie on. I wouldn't give you cup for your old one stain. Old iron, old iron.